welcome back to my channel guys so today is going to be kind of an interesting video let's see how I do with it um, today's video I'm going to be talking about um, Angela Braniff's new book her debut as an author love without borders I mentioned this in my like kind of what I did during my self-isolation video that I posted a few days ago saying that this is like one of the only books I've read during self-isolation and that's true is the only one that I kind of like really wanted I read one other book and I, there's not that one I just really really wanted to read I haven't been in the mood to read but it proves when you've got a good book you read it anyway one I want to talk about it because I am part of her book launch team and not be, not that I have to talk about it because I am in her book launch team they do ask that you make a review um, the point is to help launch the book which is something I 100% want to do but I just want to talk about it because it made like a huge impact on me like I cried when I read this book it is a really lovely book it's a memoir so it's something I wanted to share with you in case it's something you guys are interested in reading but I also just love talking about books this is a really good book so I also just I want to recommend it to anybody who will listen to me so yeah I'm kind of just giving like a review of my thoughts on the book but um, I will take you through the book now. I have read it already because I am part of her book launch team. That wasn't something that you knew going into it. Something that actually happened because of self-isolation. Um, because obviously she can't launch her book the same way anybody else would launch, her, launch their book with like a book tour and meet and greets and things like that and press and all that because of the world we're currently living in and also she knew we were all sitting at home with the time to read the book early so I'm just kind of going to read this about section and then like I'll kind of talk about like my thoughts reading the book. The founder of this gathered nest YouTube channel an uplifting story story of Angela Brennan's unusual path to becoming the mother of two seven children through various methods of adoption and biological approaches encouraging women and mothers to embrace their unique purpose that God has put in their lives. Angela's love for life and her family radiates through everything she does. The Branagh's house, the oh my god, the Branagh household includes the two biological daughters, Kennedy, twelve, Shelby, ten, Rosie, seven, who was adopted from China with Down syndrome, Noah, seven, adopted from Congo, Jonah, five, adopted domestically, and finally Ivy and Amelia. They are one-year-old twins who were adopted as embryos and implanted in Angela who gave birth to them. In fact, after the book was finished, they joyfully welcomed a new baby into their home, Benjamin, through adoption, making them a family of ten. Love Without Borders shares Angela's relatable, humorous and honest view of motherhood. Angela chronicles her journey to discover God's purpose for her life. For years she walked the safe, expected path until one day she could feel God calling her to boldly step out and follow him into new places which led her to raise a large, non-traditional family that looked different than she ever imagined. It was a winding path to motherhood, complete with heartbreak from failed adoptions, challenging pregnant pregnancies, and secondary infertility. But through it all, Angela found the unique adventure God had for her. She has shared her family stories on her popular YouTube channel, This Gathered Nest, and now invites you to go deeper and listen to where God might be calling us to go and who we've been tasked with loving, no matter how unusual or just plain crazy it might sound. The beauty of God's plan is he uses imperfect people to bring out, to bring about perfectly beautiful stories. If you're not familiar with Angela Brenner, go to her channel. She has great videos, like love her channel. I've been following her since about 2015 when she adopted Rosie from China. Um, I found like her, well, like introducing Rosie video. Um, and I think she did like another update on Rosie like a month later and then she started kind of m posting videos about adoption and things like that which is just something I was interested in. It's something I hope to do one day or to foster or something. Um, that's another topic though. Um, so it was just, so her, something, her book was something I really really wanted to read because I knew it kind of delved a little bit more into those topics, some experiences she had which she hasn't really talked about on her channel before. There was definitely some which I've never heard her talk about which just, oh, hit me in all the feels and like it just kind of, she has so much to say and it's all there in the book and it's really great. Now, I will address this <laughs> because you can tell from the blurb there's a lot about God in there. It's not, I don't know, it's, it's not preachy in any way, shape or form. But it definitely makes you think about what you question as far as religion goes, whether you practice religion or someone for, like me who doesn't practice religion. I had a very skewed idea of religion from the way I grew up and it made me kind of see a different angle of it, what different people believe. It honestly, 
has just blown my mind as far as religion goes and as far as like what God means to people. If you wonder how people live their life for God, then you need to read this book because it is just so eye-opening and just so many things she talks about in this story that are just important to talk about anyway, God related or not, whether whether it's to do with why what you believe in God and how this relates to these topics or it's just talking about these topics. She talked oh, she talks about so many things which I just think are just so important to talk about which I love and she also just writes beautifully about her kids if you ever want to one of the greatest love stories ever will be between a mother and her child and she has now eight but in this book seven beautiful children that she loves so much and you, you can just feel her love pouring onto the pages and it's just beautiful to read there's a Facebook group for her launch team and it's just hearing all these lovely women who read it and just are moved by it in so many different ways. I think it's just so important for so many different kinds of women to read. If you necessarily don't feel like it's written for you, it, you still will find something in it and I 100% recommend it. Now, let's quickly talk about where you can buy the book from. It can be ordered on Amazon, it can be shipped worldwide. If you are in Australia, there is later release dates for it in Australia. I think it comes out in like June or July in Australia, but I I believe you can buy it from Amazon online and have it shipped to Australia. Just with COVID-19 you just couldn't can't pre-order it anymore but on the 28th you should be able to order it from Amazon.com and just pay the shipping if you want a physical copy sooner. You can also purchase it on Kindle if you don't mind about physical copies and you want it as soon as it comes out. It's also available on Audible. She's recorded it so you can like listen to her tell it to you which is great I'm really glad I pre-ordered it on audible for that reason that'll be really cool to listen to it that way too but I also have my physical copy because gotta support Angela I love her so much and I just really really love this book but yeah and you can also obviously if you're in America shop it at like indie bookstores so you can like Target Barnes and Noble you can kind of get it most places online but those are kind of the places you can get it in all three forms like hard copy Kindle and audible you guys kind of enjoyed this kind of different video I don't know I did want to talk about it kind of in celebration of its release day so yeah I hope you enjoyed you know in the comments below if you end up ordering it or reading it or any of the above or listening to it on audible I'd love to hear your thoughts on it definitely if you've never heard of Angela before go over and check out her channel you can kind of get a feel for like her story and what she has to say before you have to order the book if you would like thank you guys for watching this thumbs up enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one bye